What's up, Scorpio Collective? I'm doing something so different. I've been feeling Scorpio energy for like the last week. And I was just like, you know what? That's spirit talking to me. So this reading is... Some of you could have a Scorpio placement in the 12th house. I don't know why I just got that with the ambulance. So the energy I'm feeling from this is someone is kind of silent right now or feeling silent, silenced. And it could have something to do with like what you're working on, um, what you're building or something to do with family. Um, maybe even I'm hearing like money or legacy or inheritance. Ooh, I just got eighth house also. Scorpio. Scorpio rules the eighth house. This could be about an inheritance, something with your family. Um, this also could be about something about your childhood. Maybe some of you have felt silenced about something in your childhood and it's surfacing, it's surfacing in your emotions now or recently, I feel like in cancer season, the chariot card was next. Um, and it's funny because when this card came out, I was like, okay, this is the energy. This is the energy of the Scorpio placements. The Scorpio energy right now is someone choosing to move their emotions from a situation or something was exposed during the cancer season cancer season cancer is also about our home and our family sorry i had to stop the camera i was like i know i'm missing a card <laughs> so test came out and at first i was like okay someone is being tested but notice the fire and notice the ring also notice the stripes like someone is very daring think of like a i don't know why i'm hearing test dummy um someone could feel like they're undergoing this emotional test their emotions are being tested and it's almost like I'm getting daredevil that's the word I'm, I wanted to that's what I was seeing was a daredevil jumping through but I don't know why I heard test dummy like a movie so the chariot comes out the chariot was clarified by the chariot, I'm sorry, my Aquarius Mercury. So I feel like somebody was being tested around cancer season or you could be dealing with someone that is a cancer. Ooh, someone can be silencing someone. Um, that is a cancer, not speaking to someone, that could be for a small portion of you. Um, but yes, I feel like this is someone that was like probably putting you through a lot. Like you just felt like you were constantly in the fire, like you were just being tested. That's what I got, like someone that I don't know why I was seeing test dummy and daredevil. I need to move on because I'm stuck on that. But I feel like this is someone I'm hearing like likes to do that. That was like emotionally abusive. Wow. And I'm gonna clarify this card, but Simplify came out and I was like, okay, this is like fragments. 
things being like restructured, but there's like a black hole that looks like an eclipse or um, a waxing moon. So this could be after cancer season, which is now. Now I feel like someone is simplifying their life or trying to put together back the pieces, maybe even becoming more minimalist, moving, a moving truck just went by or someone moved away after this situation. And they made this decision, putting an end. We have Scorpio and Pluto. Somebody could have a Scorpio and Pluto placement. Think about Pluto, it's death, regeneration and the number 20 can be significant but two is about like a decision um that was made like a split i'm hearing split decision <laughs> like it was simple to make this decision um after a while <clears throat> i did i do want to go back to this Pluto card for a minute. Um, I feel like somebody is discovering their gems. Notice how this almost looks like the magician holding their gems um, or even like a ruler of the underworld. Somebody could be really intuitive with seeing secrets and hidden things, but also not realizing that this is something that's when they simplify their life, they're going to discover a treasure. And in, through this awakening, it's like a regeneration of past lives. I'm even seeing one, two, three, four, something, um, something about four, home, structure, April, something could have happened in April around Aries season also, um, or this ending could have occur occurred around April when you started simplifying. And now that I'm looking at it again, the simplify, there's four, four shapes here. And I saw four, like, um, it looks like lives, like being, like ending um and then the emperor was just the aries card is also for i'll get to that in a minute because i feel like this also is something to do with business um and like can something about control like taking back control um this sudden ending that was almost detrimental or dangerous to your well-being. I also pulled some tea leaf cards and I got fly. Fly, a period of ill health, depression. So I feel like somebody was either having really depressive energy or came in your life at a time when you felt depressed. Uh, I'm thinking of a fly, like the fly is just like eating the scraps on the floor and Just like someone buzzing around. I don't know why I'm seeing that. You could have been dealing with someone with dark hair um, or dark energy, male or female. Flip it how you want. Um, I feel like somebody put a crack. There was a crack in the foundation. Notice how the road is like becoming more narrow. Um, dissatisfaction with life. Like, I'm even seeing like someone breaking this cup themselves, cracked cup. It's like the road just keeps getting more narrow and narrow and it's like, wait, this is not where I wanna go. This is not what I wanna do. And to simplify things, you had to like abruptly end because I feel like somebody was seeing that they were taking the wrong path or the wrong leap towards something leap as that was at the bottom of the deck and it was in reverse so
somebody could be really healing right now with a friend or like being around friends. Somebody with water in their chart as well. I'm even seeing sage. Um, somebody could be smudging or needing to smudge at this time or going through a lot of healing. A rebirth. Could be a rebirth in your business and what you're birthing also in like rebuilding trust. Scorpios do not trust. Someone broke your trust. It's like, I feel like you were blind. Notice how there's like the moon and feel. Like Scorpios, um, they see without seeing. Remember I said someone seeing secrets? You don't need to have your eyes open. You can feel it. It's like, it's in the motions, it's in the water. It's this connection to divinity and the moon. Um, I'm seeing three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Messages from the divine, your guides, also healing. Feeling this heel, because the heel was next to it. Healing this like broken. I'm also hearing like when I first pulled this out to not take a leap on something or this could be something that you already decided because it's now there's a now um I'm gonna like tap into this now and clarify all these cards but I really wanted to like get this energy out there before I I shouldn't say get this energy out there. I wanted to feel the energy before I got on camera so that way I can have like a deeper reading and I can peel back the layers um, and just like dive right into the energy. I told you I was feeling that. I also wrote down some things. Um, <clears throat> Mars is also conjunct Uranus right now. So this is affecting your seventh house and the number 822 could be significant or something that was in August 22nd, August of 22, 2022. Think about something that happened back then. And it breaks down to the number 12. 12 was coming up for me um, when I pulled the Scorpio energy like yesterday. I told you it's, it's just been on my mind. I've been feeling the Scorpio energy. This is something to do with like your relationship and business. Um, relationships and business or you could have been in business with something someone or considering that also a sudden situation like this is like a sudden change someone's freeing themselves from something that was very challenging um, and rebuilding their family and career So I want to dive into that and use the tarot. Actually, I actually want to clarify something. Spirit, angels, ancestors. Scorpio energy is also very intense. Very intense energy. So that's why I think the abrupt like when you see something or something is revealed to a Scorpio, it's like it's like abrupt, like cutting off. This card came up, Scythe. Um, like I said, sudden ending, sudden. This is also like death and rebirth, but like something that was like uh, scary. I feel like someone felt scared of someone. Someone could have scared you. Like a relationship, like you saw a side in someone and the emperor is like someone that <laughs> they are big energy to run like let's say you're an entrepreneur or you're a businessman aries is the emperor is like they take action they are not in their feelings scorpio will get will get out of their feelings really quick to make this decision when it comes to like they'll take their emotions away 
I'm hearing cutthroat to make a decision for like for their freedom and for what they want. The Knight of Wands. Someone is <laughs> I'm hearing someone is back in the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. You could be in your play girl or playboy era right now um where you're just like not you're just wanting to keep things simple and you're just being silent someone is very silent scorpio it's very mysterious this card is mysterious but it was also clarified by the ten of pentacles so that's why i was like this could be about family this could be about your money this could be about like what you're working on this could be just about you and like what keeps you grounded even things from childhood you could be healing a lot from childhood this is like somebody like um i'm hearing needing earth needing earth needing nature someone could be needing nature or they were getting in nature or they are getting in nature it's like someone seeing their worth someone seeing their potential <clears throat> Somebody also could be an artist or a creative and even a creative in business. The Emperor and the Knight of Wands, this sudden change, it doesn't always have to be about a relationship. This could be also about like a career path or a change. Somebody being this sudden change that was like, I'm hearing like somebody went through a disruption in their business career and relationship. It's like both. And they're regenerating and making, I'm hearing a comeback, but it's a lot of fire, taming fire, taming the beast. All right, let's clarify this. Spirit. Angels, ancestors, higher beings, what other messages are coming in for the Scorpio collective at this time? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Samaritan refines your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore. I feel like you helped someone or you always probably feeling like you're helping someone or somebody could be really good at helping other people. I knew it. Rescuer came in reverse. I knew I was getting like somebody helping someone and like being taken advantage of or people look to you for help. Assumes that the rescued will reciprocate, keeps the rescued one needy. I'm hearing also codependent. I feel like this, and don't take this the wrong way, but there could be a tendency or an old pattern that someone could be codependent in the relationships by like you attracting people that need you. And it makes sense, the rescuer. So it's like you're attract, you attract people that are broken oh wow no wonder we had cracked up and the fly this is someone that has mental health emotional like that's like could also be very negative like an, a pessimistic energy because of their like dark shit that they hide dark dark woman dark man I just feel like also nobody's about to be a Captain save -a <laughs> anymore. Um, that's why I was getting simplified and air, uh, the Emperor is not a Captain save -a That could be for some of you. <laughs> um, yeah, we had Pioneer in reverse. Compulsive need to keep moving on. I feel like someone is... Um, A shadow side could be like you 
being too busy or needing to keep busy but we also had the knight of wands which is like also an artist explorer um it's jupiter and sag so jupiter is like expansion luck philosophies someone also could be their jupiter could be in scorpio or their jupiter also could be in scorpio jupiter and scorpio yeah or sag but it's like the archer the you know someone that wants a challenge and wants more out of life um i'm hearing chase compulsive need to keep moving on i feel like after this happened you're just really determined to move forward um which is the prince of wands not the knight of wands mm. why were you the rescuer though why i don't know why i'm hearing that spirit why why the rescuer why the rescuer Ooh. judge balancing justice and compassion managing the fair distribution of power i feel like somebody has a hard time with discern discerning and judging someone that needs to be rescued like you're always trying to be fair Ooh, that's why i feel like i saw tests test it's like what did i say test dummy daredevil maybe oh, i feel like the relationships you were attracted to were were like a test like um a daredevil i think think of it like i don't want to say toxic but risky taking a risk taking a risk jumping through a loop a cancer, I, you could be dealing with a cancer, but also this is something with your emotions. Something or someone with your emotions that it was testing your emotions or those are the connections and it's being revealed, broken down the fragments. Bottom of the deck, we, had self, we have selfless devotion and single-minded de de dedication to spirit. Someone is very silent right now, like I said. Very silent and focus. focused. Focused. Focused, focus. Or the focus could be on you. There's, a, there's more focus on you. There's more focus on you. You're understanding like the nature of having to have a healthy relationship and a healthy romance or like a partnership that you want inspires you to like, you're being inspired to rely on yourself. That's why I feel like I'm, I'm seeing the simplify card and something with 10 of Pentacles, like this is something within your family where you probably felt dependent on that. And so you attracted those relationships. This could have something to go to do with your upbringing someone's very intuitive also someone could also be doing a lot of traveling right now or there's a delay in some travel that could be for some of you three of pentacles came in reverse i'm hearing being selective being selective with being selective with who you work with or build with um my deck was also in reverse so that still applies three of pentacles um this is like rebuilding your connections somebody is rebuilding their connections um or collaborations or that's your advice. Community rebuilding. What else? The Scorpio Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What other messages for the highest good? Ooh, Ten of Swords came in reverse. <clears throat> so 
sideways, somebody putting an end to pain and burdens. I saw crows today when I was meditating. There's crows. You could see a lot of, you could be seeing a lot of crows, but also this is like messages. A lot of messages are coming in from your, from all over. You could be receiving a lot of other people's messages. The advice is, I feel like, okay, this could be a situation that's not good. This could be for some of you because I picked this up. So like Scorpio, it's, how could I explain this? Like you are the seer of the underworld. You see secrets and you also could be collectively picking up a lot of pain from the collective. But this came in as the advice and to your advantage. This could be something as like a career change or a job where you're actually like helping people by seeing their secrets. That could be for some of you. What else, Spirit? I'm hearing also legacy, like family legacy. This could have been also an inheritance that was passed down to you. I kept saying Scorpio, Jupiter. Counselor. The strength, this is also eight, something with the eighth house. I told you an inheritance, but this is also a Leo card, um, our confidence, our mentality. I feel like currently someone is like dealing with negative thoughts, self-sabotaging thoughts, and they're like having to deal with that right now. Um, like I'm hearing like, are you good enough? Yes. Rebuilding your strength after picking up all this energy. This could also have to do with karma because eight is has to do with karma and strength. I did some deeper research on, I love symbols and occult knowledge, um, but the strength card could also have to do with mother wounds. That could be for some of you, but it's like, look at the lamb, you know what I mean? Look at the lamb and the lion, the lamb being like the child the woman being the lion, the mother, it's healing the mother wounds, um, confidence. What else? One more message. That was a lot. Um, Six of Wands, this is attention. Someone gets a lot of attention or very magnetic. This is also giving me like your time is now. Your time is now. Time is now. Wow. Death, rebirth. Seven of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. We have double sevens. This is a choice. This is something that's happening now. A halt there has been a halt or a change in a direction a halt or a change in a direction sevens are about slowing things down and making a change but also connected to mysticism spirituality death and rebirth regeneration endings boundaries someone like having this protective bubble and seeing their power and their potential, looking at like what they can build and what they can use. Like someone also looking at their resources, their worth, rebuilding their worth and like what they're working on. Someone seeing that, I'm hearing start their own business, like a counselor. We have King of Cups and King of Wands. This is two kings. Um, it could also be about two people of the same sex. Flip it how you want. 
Knight of Wands again. The Emperor again. No way. The Emperor in both decks. The Emperor and the Knight of Wands. I want to clarify that. Clarify the Emperor Spirit Guides. Clarify the Emperor. What is the Emperor? High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. Page of Swords, Hierophant, Five of Pentacles. Page of Swords, Hierophant, Five of Pentacles. This is about a spiritual decision, like spiritual regeneration. <clears throat> Someone looking into something. Um, this could be a like personal freedom. Somebody like freeing themselves from feeling abandoned, feeling left out. Also someone that's, I feel like taking their power back in a situation where they probably lost money because of a relationship or a belief system. But why do I feel someone's happy about... Because Five of Pentacles could also be about like needing more spiritual like healing. So what is this emperor to the knight of wands? I'm hearing someone taming their fire, um, like using it for creativity, someone feeling like really creative. Like it's okay. Or maybe someone like had no choice. Judgment again at the bottom of the deck, Knight of Wands. So the Knight of the Emperor to the Knight of Wands was clarified by the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. This is like someone like completely like running towards a new direction, wanting this change. Again with the crows and the messages. Someone's running. Look, we have the seven of swords again with crows. Someone has been getting a lot of messages. What is this? Wow, this is two of cups. Like this could be about a partnership or connection um, or even friendship. A new friendship, a new relationship coming. We have the page of swords. Someone is looking into something. Also be mindful of like not allowing yourself to like run away from situations because of your past. That's what I'm also seeing. Like, you could be the Knight of Wands. <laughs> you could be the Knight of Wands, which is good, but like, it needs to be used in a way that does not affect your business, does not affect your structure, does not affect your creativity. And like, I'm hearing discipline. Like, you're needing to be more disciplined. Again, with the Emperor. Someone could have Aries placements too, but I'm just hearing like taking control of your life, taking more control of your life, like this new life. And taming the fire. Like if you have a lot to say, if you feel like you wanna just like go off on someone, scorpionic energy, I'm hearing like tame the beast, tame the fire and like have more control to like not just like sabotage and run away to situ run away from situations i'm seeing a lot of crows someone could be seeing a lot of crows or getting a lot of messages crows or messengers i'm hearing underworld but i don't know if i'm right about that renewal a decision um i'm hearing like an awakening someone this is a wounded warrior but someone like not giving up Another fire card, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Sag or have Sag placements. Mm, okay, so what final messages do you have, Spirit? So what is this leap in reverse? This, I feel like that is a final message. That's like now. I 
keep getting three cards every time. <laughs> oh, wow. Ace of Cups, the world, Ace of Wands. This is like a lot of new beginning, but I feel like someone's really needing to take a leap to follow their heart and trust their feelings. Trust their feelings with connection, healing connection. This is something to do with like your past. Um, healing your past. I told you I was seeing three here as well. Like someone getting in tune with, in touch with something from their past. Three things, could be three years, the past three years. There's a lot of new opportunity coming in. Like the same cards, Page of Swords again with there's a new relationship. That's basically what it's a new relationship, new money, a new opportunity, family, legacy, business, something to do with you really tapping into your scorpion energy and feeling like someone needing to feel like close their eyes and feel when they make decisions and and meditating and like getting out of their negativity even around the moons like utilizing the moon to really tap in with your emotions mind body spirit the three i keep hearing is mind body spirit that's probably what this three is mind body spirit mind body spirit spirit ace of wands new beginning ignited passion a new project a new business project someone being silent about something a new opportunity something that they're building Someone sees, again, with the three, one, two, three, their third eye activation, third eye activation. I'm hearing mantras. Somebody could be meditating, um, meditating the world. This is like something ending a completion, but it could be something online, a business online, or you could be kind of like an influencer in a way. Um, or this could be like a new path for you that you don't see coming. Ace of Cups. Um, like I said, be mindful not to run away from love or new love because it did come in reverse. Um, but it's like, this is the advice not to leap towards like moving too fast in situations. Maybe take a pause on leaping and putting this love into yourself ace of cups in reverse is like the the renewed love within yourself coming out like that could be for someone you've coming out coming out or a move this was really cool i love this scorpio it's my first time reading for scorpio but um, yes, thank you. Please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment for your girl. Let me know how you're feeling. If you resonated with anything in this energy that I channeled for you. Until next time, namaste.